My name is Mitchell Bernstein. I'll be describing the technique of tibial bone transport over an intramedullary nail using cable and pulleys. The first part of the procedure is removing devitalized bone and creating orthogonal cuts of the tibia that are perpendicular to the anatomic axis since we're doing a bone transport. After the bone fragments are removed, a small incision is made at the site of a lengthening and a 4.8 millimeter drill bit creates the holes for the osteotomy. This will then also allow for deposition of reamings during the preparation of the intramedullary canal for the tibial rod. The tibial rod for intramedullary nail is prepared as per routine. The nail is passed in the proximal segment and the osteotomy is completed using an osteotome. Once the osteotomy is completed, the nail is passed into its final position and is locked in a standard fashion. For small periarticular fragments, we recommend three interlocking bolts the next part of the procedure is using a 2 millimeter drill bit to allow for the cables to be passed around the anterior cortex. It is important to ensure that the drill bits do not pass or cross each other as it will make passing the cable not possible. The cables pass through one of the tunnels around the top of the bone and then back out. The plastic component of a hemovac is used to cannulate with the cables and then the metal trocars with the plastic and the cable are used to percutaneously bring or shuttle the cables outside the skin exiting just distal to the docking site. The wounds are then closed in a standard fashion. A two-ring circular fixator is then applied. Care is taken to avoid the path of the nail or its components. Two pulleys are assembled to the distal ring as seen. The cables are attached to the compression distraction rods using a fluted rod and crimped with two nuts. The blue Elizaroff clickers are used. These clickers, a turn, a quarter turn, represent 0.25 millimeters of distraction. At the end of lengthening, the docking site is further compressed. The patient is brought back to the operating room where a custom interlocking bolt is used to capture the transported segment. This prevents any recoil or proximal displacement of, this fraction of the segment as there is a significant amount of stress on the system. The frame is then able to be removed as the intramedullary rod stabilizes the limb. Patients should be partial weight bearing during the recovery until final regenerate is healed.